Jay asked me to narrate this video about his most recent project, a bedside table he made as a Christmas present to me. He modelled this project in SketchUp and extracted the dimensions to create a cut list. He had the plywood cut down to rough dimensions when he bought it and then cut it down to final dimensions himself using a circular saw. He also added 45 degree mitres to any pieces that required it. He did several test cuts on some hardwood offcuts to make sure the saw was set to 45, but it still ended up being a little bit out, resulting in him having to fill in some gaps later. He glued up the four pieces for the main unit and used strap clamps to apply pressure, leaving them for a day for the glue to dry. Yeah, you told me the other day you'd be coming back today, but you didn't. Oh, no, 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 no. There's much that I can do, really far be us too, and I miss you, baby. Show me the way we can be with you. You and her, I know I saw you. Breaks my heart, but what can I do? It is life, I know I loved you. The flick switch he chose for the lighting part of the project couldn't be secured through 18mm material, so he used a forstner bit to remove some material and create a thinner area around where he wanted the switch. He used some tape to prevent blowout while drilling 12mm hole for the switch, but this failed. If he was to do this again, he'd drill through with a much smaller bit and then drill the final hole from the finished side while still using the tape. He then started working on the lighting element. He started by laying out the cutout for the frosted glass and then began drilling the corners with a larger bit so that the opening would have rounded corners. He then connected these up using a jigsaw. He added a chamfer using a router on the finished side and a lip on the back for the frosted glass to sit in. This didn't look or have the level of finish he was after, so he increased the size of the opening off camera to rectify it. He laser cut a template and used a router with a follower bearing to do this. He added pieces to the lighting element to create a space for the lights and wiring. He wanted the face of the lighting part to be removable in case anything ever went wrong or needed replacing. He traced the area of the opening onto the face where he would then apply the LED strip lights. He bought some LED strip lights off eBay and they also came with a pre-attached USB connector which helped to keep the electronics as simple as possible.
then test fit the lighting element and marked out where it needed to go to allow enough clearance for the draw. He will be making a separate video for the draw as this video was getting a bit long. He then painted the insides of the table white to create contrast and something a little different to the rest of the table. chose to integrate a four-part USB charger, one for the lighting, and the others could then be used for a phone, smartwatch, and so on. He added a USB extension cable between the charger and lighting, and added the inline switch in the middle of it. He then screwed the lighting element into the size of the table and screwed in the toggle switch. He added the frosted glass and hot glued the perimeter to secure it off camera. He screwed this bottom piece in place, not adding glue so as to keep it removable. He was originally going to add a plinth for the table, but he started to take a liking to the aesthetic without it, and so instead he simply added some rubber feet just to lift it slightly off the ground and give it a shadow gap. He then applied four coats of satin polyurethane varnish, sanding between coats and buffing after the final coat. He attached a brass drawer pull which complements the table nicely. This project turned out great, I really like it, and the integrated light works really well, providing a soft glow whilst winding down before going to sleep. <laughs>